where you can see our journey through the rigors of a first generation family farm. So follow us today as we take a trip to a small organic farm in Oita, Japan. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Mountainside farming. How does he water all this? Careful. Careful. Oh, to that monkey. Monkey destroyed that one. Mm, oh, monkeys. That's what it was. He had, to, he had to put the nets up to keep the monkeys out. He put the net, but the, uh, they he carried up the net. They found a new way. Can he shoot the monkeys? Bow and arrow or something, or trap them. This is a 100% organic farm that's out here. And this is just a small operation, which a lot of the farms out here are. There's not a ton of commercial farms in Japan, at least in the areas that we traveled to. Um, we lived in Japan for five years. We have relatives that actually deal in cattle and uh, a lot of small operations like this where they almost, it's farmer's markets and things like that. So, but 100% organic. All the soil amendments are done in-house. He doesn't truck anything in. Um, he uses a lot of uh, shellfish 
uh, show. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess that's brought in, but um, it's organic stuff. It's not like he's not bringing in soil from other locations. He actually it takes years and years and builds up his own soil and gets it all going. And he's been working on this for a few years. This is just one location uh, here, which this is just a fraction of what he actually has. But this is one 60-year-old man. Right? I believe he's 60, 60, 67. And he does all this on his own. So Japan is still, seems to be in the same crisis that we are where the farming age is getting so old uh, where yeah, it's a whole new generation of people trying to come in and start over fresh. I have no idea either. I was curious, but I didn't see anything on it. Maybe it's what he makes the... Uh, uh, What do they make with it? Potato. Potato. Mm -hmm. That's a potato plant? Yes, but they call kikuimo. Kikuimo? Kikuimo. Okay, what time, man? What's a potato look like? I don't know. I wonder if he has something we can see. So it's kind of neat. He digs trenches to hold the water in, huh? Whereas, like, we build mounds up for onions. He dug trenches to keep the water in there. That's smart. So he puts the... Well, yeah. I guess it's 50-50. When it's a drought like this, though, it's pretty smart. Trying to save your money. Because water's so expensive here. Peppers. Does he, does, he, does he know what the average farming age in, in Japan is right now? I bet he does. I know it's, if it's even older than America, and America is like old. We're getting, we're getting into a bad spot. <clears throat> so one guy does all of this by himself. And, you know, if it was a young guy, I guess that'd be one thing, but... This is one guy that's that's up there in age, um, and he's getting it done. Another type of melon of some sort. He's got a little bit of everything going on out here. Just gorgeous, just the amount of effort that goes into it. And uh, so the nets, I guess, and I probably heard it a while ago, was the nets are actually for the monkeys. He, uh, the family here owns a big portion of the mountain, and uh, this region, it's in like the nor, it's in like the mountainous side of Oita. Oita <coughs> actually has uh, a lot of monkeys, wild monkeys here. <laughs> so uh, even though he puts the nets up, it only deters them a little bit. There's a few of them that, I mean, they're primates. They're pretty smart. They figured out how to get through the nets, and they actually eat his pumpkins and stuff, and his corn, and tear up his plants. So it's just amazing uh, that they don't like have problems with the monkeys attacking people. So this is on a mountainside. So I mean, he makes this walk up from his house, which I mean, I guess it's not that far, but it's far when you got to drag. All this, I mean, just think of the sheer amount of effort and hours that went into dragging all this stuff up here. I mean, there's just tons of stuff. All these poles, all these nets, all this equipment, wheelbarrows, planting pots, everything. All drug up here by hand. That's crazy. I and mean, it's not crazy, but it's... It's a lot, a lot of effort. What is going on here? Oh, it's his compost pile. So this is his compost pile slash worm bed. It's a pretty rocking little idea.
Konyaku, that's what he makes it out of the the, the bulb. Oh. He said it takes ten ten years? How many how many years? How many years? Three years. あの、上に向けて植えたら水が入ったら去るけ。斜めにこう植える。玉を。うん。で、深さが so it takes three years to grow it and then but when you plant it the cognac you have to slant it to a 45 degree otherwise it dissolves so much water and it will kill bust tastes best when they're small mm. yeah same thing in America mm. Once they get too big, they don't taste good no more. They just become gooey, too gooey. Look how well these plants are doing. And it's all organic. It's crazy. All organic. And the Mizuki grew up with this all fresh vegetables. Uh huh. Yeah. The family grocery cart. <laughs> yeah, Goya. Oh, wow. Goya Tano. Goya Tano. Yeah, but it's not ready. It's too, too, too small. Dad was, was a, a lot farmer, so Duki mm. grew up everything fresh food. His dad was a farmer. Mm. Then he farmed on the side. Yeah. So basically, essentially what we're doing, but yeah. just on a different... Oh, farmer. oh, his dad was a farmer. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. So, Yuki's, uh, Yuki's uh, grandfather was a farmer, so he got his dad got to learn a lot of stuff. And then now that he's retired, he's putting it all to work. Which, I mean, if you look at what all is happening here... He's not retired. This is a lot of work. A lot. So we made it out here today. We're um, walking through like kind of a national park that they have here in uh, Miyazaki Prefecture. Tachiiko. Um, I'm sure that I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I'll get back to it again a little bit later. Um, gonna have some really great footage from here. There's some gorgeous waterfalls. Had to represent Hills Farm and Feed out here. Uh, the park itself has uh, has a system where you can actually go out and check out uh, waterfalls on a boat. Um, so something kind of unique. Uh, we don't unfortunately have time. Uh, we unfortunately don't have the time to to get out here and go do it, but uh, we get to get a lot of footage from all the locations. They have tons of vantage points out here for us to get some good looks. Um, really hope you guys like the footage, and uh, this is just a little extra, a little bonus. So, hope you like it. Have fun.
Yeah. All right. Hello, I'm Dennis, and welcome to Arigato Farms, uh, where you can take. Yeah, sorry. Right. It's gonna take me a second to. <laughs> it's tough, huh? It's a lot harder than it looks. Okay. Our journey to the rigors of a first-generation family farm, where you can see the rigors. Where you can, ah. Where you can see our journey to the rigors of a. Of a, of a where you can see our where you where you can see our journey to the rigors of a first generation family farm pause for a second alright ready? it's tougher than it looks alright where you can